previously on This Guy's Grudge. Today on This Guy's Grudge, school is back in session. It's Auto Body 101 on MIG welding. First, I'm going to tell you how I set up my MIG welder. Then we're going to weld on a patch. All this is coming up. And that's a 220 machine. You can get a 110 machine that'll plug into the wall. Whether it's 110 or 220, it's really for doing body work. It's a personal preference. The most important thing is the setup of the machine. My machine, I set it up. I, I put 025 wire in it. Why is this important? 025 wire is suited to the gauge of metal that I'm welding, which is mostly 18 gauge in body work. So 025 wire will keep the heat out it will penetrate as much as it's supposed to without leaving a pile of slag or buildup behind. O3 wire is more more for welding structure. To set yourself up for success you want to set your machine to weld what you're welding. As far as the heat setting goes I have my machine set on the B heat setting which is the second lowest. My wire speeds at two and a half. That's a good place to start but have a look on the inside of your machine because there is going to be a chart there that will show you how to best get the closest setups for your for your MIG welder. I'm just building some strength in here. It's not absolutely necessary for you to do it at home. I just, I have the tool. I like to use it. So let's show you what I'm doing here. This is a panel crimper. It does two things. Puts strength into your panel. And allows you for your patch to be welded in flush with no overlap. Also allows for spot welds. Which if, if you have an area that you don't want to put a pile of heat in, which is a, is a good technique as well. Not everything has to be solid welded. Have that fitting nice there, so get it welded up. So I have a MIG Pack 180. I'm going to start my settings on B for heat and number 3 for wire speed. Right up here, start in the center. I'll I'll just start with your patch in the center. Make sure that you have your corners where you want them, but start welding in the center. And where I punched my lines in. See how everything wants to turn nice and easy? Start your welds about an inch apart. Now that I have that close, I'll bring it all in a little closer. Keep your welds as close as possible. Oh, by the way, I'm using an 023 MIG wire or 025. I think it's 025 actually. The smaller the wire, the less buildup you have in your welded areas.
So whenever you're selling the welding, you just want to take the time, grind it off before you put the welder away. Whenever you're putting a patch on like this and you're doing any kind of welding, I like to know I'm going to be in the shop for at least two hours before I leave to make sure that there's no fires can start because a fire a fire in a car can smolder for a long time before you before it catches fire. So give yourself lots of time. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. If this video helped you out some, you can help us right back by hitting that subscribe button right there. Links to all the tools we use are in the video description down below. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Please like the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Till the next time, folks. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe.